90s in Munich. I remember having the pressure time here. What's the improvement from the original E-Jet to the E-2? Uh, inside in the, cockpit. the cockpit, the cockpit mainly our amazing new screens and the uh, new boat, the amazing future. Separating sectors, uh, like the altitude, Hi, my name is Bob Michael with the Boeing Company. Um, you're in the flight deck of the 7377. Uh, this is the third variant uh, in the 737 MAX family. Um, this is the shortest uh, of the four airplanes in the family. What you're looking at here, uh, one of the really cool things about the airplane is 787 primary flight displays. And you can see really high resolution displays. Um, what we're doing is providing great information to the flight deck, to the flight crews, and also provisioning the airplane for this next generation of air traffic management and flight operations functionality, both from a display real estate standpoint and from the underlying processing capability standpoint. Looking at here is flight test instrumentation. Um, I know most people never get to see this. A lot of data about every aspect of flying the airplane. Uh, so we can first, from an engineering standpoint, confirm the airplane does what we want it to do and then demonstrate to the regulatory agencies that the airplane is safe to fly. Hi, welcome. This is the Beeman Bangladesh Boeing 787-8. This is the new business class cabin with 24 seats. It's really nice and I really like the uh, touch here. Look at the decoration here. So good morning and welcome to our Q400 aircraft. This is a brand new Ethiopian aircraft. So welcome on board. 
Uh, my name is Antonio, I'm responsible for product marketing for Bombardier Commercial Aircraft. Our cabin is also brand new, this is our next generation configuration. LED lighting, uh, very large windows, very large and spacious bins where you can install large carry-on bags. For those of you that don't know, the Q400, the Q stands for quiet. Currently we have uh, 22 Q400s in operation and we have 10 more in order. Cockpit is uh, beautiful, it's got uh, space for the bags. We have uh, advanced electronic systems and flight displays. Each one of them uh, gives out 5,071 shaft horsepower. So that's immense power on uh, the two engines which as a Highland operator we need that uh, so you can flex the wing flex the wing. off how much this thing cost in Bombardier Global 6000 so the Global 6000 list at uh, roughly 60 million dollars US oh my god Hello, it's Antonio again and welcome on the CRJ900 Atmosphere Cabin. It's the only cabin that has mood lighting in regional flying. It's the only cabin that can offer up to 20% more light coming in. Look how large those windows are. And once again, a row has two windows uh, on this aircraft. We have designed a brand new uh, bin for the economy class. And look at the size of this bag. This is uh, our blue bag is is the largest bag that you can probably imagine bringing on an airplane. Good morning, let's have a look more at our new C500 aircraft. Welcome! On board, Qatar Airways. Welcome to the Airbus A220. Cabin here is the two free configuration. The middle seat is actually wider than the other seat. It's actually one inch more wider. So that's why I have enough shoulder. And what I really like about it is this overhead mins. These are one of the largest bins you found in the range of this jet.
It takes while, it takes like 90 seconds, but it's fairly simple. And this is the crew rest. Yeah, six seats, uh, the crew rest bunks are behind.